The final section of working with Gulp that we will look at is using Vinyl FTP to FTP to our website. This will allow us to take our files that we've worked on and take our distribution folder and upload it to our web server. And it will work as good if not better than using something like Fetch or FileZilla or CyberDuck or any other FTP application. So Vinyl FTP is pretty straightforward to work with. We've already required Gulp. We'll just need to require Gulp Utilities and Vinyl FTP as part of it. And then we will have our Gulp task of deploy, which is going to push it up to our website. So you will see that we will have to put in our website domain, our FTP username, our FTP password, and then the glob section We'll talk about that a little bit but what this is is specifying which files that we are wishing to upload because we have all of our files being prepared into a distribution folder through part of our build process or build task using gulp all right will be even easier than what we see here finally as we go through we will need to set our base folder that we're working with and then put in the path of where the files are going to be uploaded. So with that, we'll jump over to Atom. And inside of Atom, we will see we need to use, or install Gulp Utilities and then Vinyl FTP so that we have access to those. And in this demonstration, instead of utilizing Terminal as an external application, if you install Term3, as a package with Atom, it allows us to open up a terminal window directly inside Atom so that I don't even have to jump between programs so that I can see what's there. sudo npm install gulp utilities save dev One thing that is really useful about using Term 3 is that we don't have to go and navigate with Terminal to our project folder. So the moment we open up a terminal window, it opens it up to the first directory folder that is open inside our file browser over here on the left column. So now that I have installed my utilities, now I will do the same thing of asking node to install vinyl FTP into my project. So vinyl has now been installed. My gulp utilities have been installed. The next thing that I'm going to do is I need to require these as part of my project. So going back to my gulp file, I will see that now I can require them. So vinyl FTP is equal to require FTP and I like to do it in the order I put them in so var gulp util is equal to require gulp utility modify the name a little bit just so that it works better for following our other naming sequences. Now what we need to do is to create a new task. The task that we're going to create is going to be our de deployment task. So we have a build task that we set up previously 
where it runs the sequence, where it cleans out the distribution folder, it runs SAS, and then it copies over the necessary files where it combines together using useref and minimizes files and images, then it copy or or files, then it does their fonts, then it optimizes the images. So now our next step that we're going to work with is we are going to deploy the project. Now the deployment task as we work with this, you will need to put in your own domain, username, and password to make this function. Otherwise, this is copied from the vinyl page. So this is the text copied, and there will be a few modifications that go into it. Now, as I said, under globs, globs are where we we're able to tell Adam, or in this case, not just Adam, but tell Gulp, how we want to access files or which files. And you'll notice there's a bunch of the wildcard information pieces in there. But what we really want, because we are not just grabbing from these app folders, but we are instead grabbing our distribution folders. So what we really want to say is, Grab everything that has been put in the distribution folder, and that's what we need to access. Now, I'm just going to put that away so we can see a little bit more here. Now, as we work further down, it says using base as just a dot will transfer everything to our public HTML correctly. But I'm not going to the public HTML and I'm taking the files from my distribution folder. And if I don't set the base as .dist, like you see here, what ends up happening is it puts a folder on my website called dist. And that's not really what I want. I just want the files that are in the distribution folder to be put into my gulp demo folder. And you also notice that there's another thing that's happening here, and this is what is on the Vinyl FTP website, but we have newer line here, as well as destination, and what newer is doing is that is going to then compare the files we're pushing up versus the files that are already there, and only put up files that are newer, so when we do our FTP, if you've worked in something like Fetch or FileZilla where you had to individually select which files you were choosing to upload so you didn't upload your entire site every time, now you don't even have to think about it. So this makes it a pretty slick process. So to use this task, I will just say gulp deploy and it is going to FTP this to my website. Now I noticed I from when I developed my source file and then when I worked on this demonstration, I forgot to update my connection for the Vinyl FTP and Gulp Utility because I changed the variable names when I created them this time from what I had used previously. So then I got an error message when I just ran a quick test to verify everything was working. So Gulp Utility, Vinyl FTP. Now, when I do that and populate with my host user and password correctly, then what is going to happen is I will be able to run a build statement, then run deploy. Now I'm going to show you that inside of my folder, so I'm using fetch right now, and we can see here's the path, Artboy Stuff Test Web Pro, and if I look back, inside Adam we'll see that we're going to go to Artboy Stuff Test Web Pro and it's going to create a folder called Gulp Demo and it will populate that with the contents of my distribution folder. So now we're going to try it out. The first thing I want to do is say Gulp Build and it will run through the build process so we can see how it cleaned out the distribution folder, populated it with the most current content. Now I will go to Gulp Web Demo 
And with this, I will type gulp deploy. When I do that, it now deploys up, and we can see it just quickly FTP'd all of those files to my website, the fonts, the images, the CSS, HTML, JavaScript, everything. Inside of Fetch, if we look at the folder, I'll choose Web Pro, Gulp Demo, and there are the files. And we can see now Art Boy Stuff Test Web Pro, if I go to the Gulp Web Demo, there is my project and it's loaded. My text is there, my image is there, my fonts are there, colors work. So we have now proven that we can make this work. And all it takes to pull that off is using Gulp Utilities and Vinyl FTP. So you can dig into it a little bit more if you want. But the two gotchas that I found were changing the base path by adding in dist there and then making sure that we're referencing the utilities and the FTP correctly. If I go back to vinyl FTP we can see that it's going to then be referring to these things as GUtil and FTP so that means we need to use FTP here and GUtil here. So if you change the names from what's here, we do have to modify that accordingly to make sure everything works. Change the base to match. If we change it to dot slash dist, then it works with our code. Change our globs to dist slash and two wildcards. And if you do that, you will have success.